So I finally put Noah to sleep. Fingers crossed he stays asleep for this video because you'll be hearing like crying in the background. So if you do, it's Noah. When I had Noah, a lot of my water weight went down because um, a lot of the weight was just water weight. It wasn't actual weight. So I felt like it was quite a struggle to get to where I am now. And I feel like I'm at a strong, toned, slim physique that I've, that I was at before. It is quite challenging because obviously you're, after having a baby, your stomach is just not the same at all. So I have found it hard, but this video isn't just for people that have had a baby or pregnant. It's literally for anyone. My tips on losing weight. So I made a little list of tips, um, quite a lot actually, but I'm gonna try and go through them quickly so the video is not really super long. First tip is eat right. Uh, kind of two tips really, eat right and exercise. Obviously what you put in your body I would say is about 70 to 80 percent of how much weight you're going to have and how much weight you're going to lose or gain. Um, obviously it's going in your body and that's where fat either stays or goes. So I truly believe eating right is key and obviously that is quite generalised and it is quite vague but everyone's body is different so depending on your goal, how much weight you want to lose, if you want to tone up, do you want to build muscle um, whilst losing weight um, is completely up to you. But eating the right, eating the right diet for your body goals and your your weight loss is so important. And obviously, exercise. If you want to lose weight, exercise. It doesn't have to be just going to the gym. It can be going for a walk, a half an hour to an hour every day. Um, it could be doing a martial arts class, a dance class or it could be just going to the gym, it's completely up to you, or you don't even have to leave your house. So exercise is so important and is a great way of losing weight, that be cardio or doing weight training. Cardio is a really nice way of easing your way into weight loss. I've recently been doing this thing where I have uh, two supplements um, added to my daily routine, and the first one's called Enzyme Digest, and the second one is um, Green Tea Extract and they're in tablet form. I'm gonna quickly just get them to show you. So they're here. They're two supplements that basically help with losing weight. They're not really artificial. Then There's nothing crazy that's gonna be dangerous to intake, but I done loads and loads of research into losing weight naturally because I really wanted to get back to the, the body that I was before I had Noah. Um, and these, these have been a great help for doing that. So I got these in Holland and Barrett. They were shopping. Uh, UK. I don't know if they've got them in other countries, but nevertheless, you can buy these um, in other uh, health shops, uh, probably in your country or online. Just make sure you do look at the ingredients to make sure there's not loads of added stuff in them. So Enzyme Digests are just free. Um, it says vegan, gluten-free, dairy-free, which is great. Um, but there's free enzymes in here that basically help you digest any foods that you intake. So a good digestion is really really important for losing weight because if your body's not digesting your food in your body uh, well enough um, or it's finding it hard to digest then that's not going to break down and burn so it's just going to store to fat so enzyme digest is a great really light natural way of helping your digestion which is really important for weight loss and another one this one's a little bit stronger and if you already have caffeine in your diet then I would say don't go too mad on this because you, if obviously if you OD on caffeine, it's not good. And I love my coffee. Place this for a coffee in the day, which is fine. But basically, I love green tea. I've always loved drinking green tea, um, and so I tried the green tea, um, green tea extract in tablet form. I take two of these a day. It basically helps my body burn fat, speeds up my metabolism. I've been using this for a week now really great way if you're really keen to lose weight but obviously just be careful with the um, caffeine intake in your diet but these two together on a daily basis are a great way of losing weight. I would say stay away from wheat. I find whenever I have wheat it bloats me and I feel like my body can't digest it properly um, so I try my best if now that I'm kind of slimming up and losing a bit of weight I 
just stay away from wheat altogether. If you love wheat in your diet, maybe just reduce the intake that you do have, but I would say stay away from wheat. No fizzy drinks. Do not drink fizzy drinks. Even if it's Diet Coke, Diet Sprite, Diet Pepsi, whatever it is, if your body takes something that it doesn't understand, then it just automatically turns into fats. Actually, it's not better because there's no sugar in it or there's zero sugar. Just eliminate fizzy drinks in your diet. That's going to help you a lot. I would say do more exercise and eat less carbs. That's kind of the way it goes if you're on a weight loss journey. Through the day, really good tip that probably a lot of people don't do because they have breakfast, lunch, dinner and they have big, three big meals. A lot of people I know do that, is to have smaller portions through the day. So smaller portions but more frequently and you'll find that that's really going to help your body digest the food quickly and keep you on your weight loss journey. This one is so important, drink water. Make sure you drink water, it's so, so, so important. Um, I say if you're not exercising, drink two litres of water a day if you can or close to it. And if you are exercising, obviously drink more water because you're going to be sweating the water out. I know some people don't like drinking water, but it's, you know, we can survive longer without food than we can water. So that kind of says it all. Cut down on sugars. There's so many, so many sugar, there's just sugar in everything nowadays, especially I know in America there's even more sugar in stuff um, from research that I've done. And even when I went over there, I found it really hard to find something without sugar in. Really bad if you're trying to lose weight. Obviously you don't have to eliminate it completely, but especially refined sugars. If you can find unrefined sugars, then that's great. I use coconut sugar instead of uh, normal sugar you get in supermarkets. Um, coconut sugar is a lot more natural and just so much better and going to help me, you know, if I want an alternative to, in a tea or into cereal, I just use my coconut sugar and it's so much nicer and you can get that in health shops or you can probably order it online, just make sure it's all natural. Um, but yeah, try, try and stay away from sugars, it's a big help to losing weight. Drink tea, I find that drinking tea um, on a daily basis, even if it's one or two or one, is a really help for losing weight. I like teas such as green tea, raspberry, berry tea, ginger, honey tea. I love chamomile tea just before I go to bed. It just helps your body's flow and also it's just, I love just having a tea. I find it really comforting and really homey. And yeah, it's, it's a great help. Don't diet. My tip, I know some of you may find that going on a diet, you enjoy it because you find that you lose weight quickly. It depends what your weight loss journey is. If you want to lose weight and you want to keep the weight off, going on a special diet, and there's so many out there, isn't going to help you keep the weight off. It's going to help you lose weight in a short period of time, and probably a lot of it, but then you're just going to fall back down and you're going to gain that weight again. So to keep on a platter and to just keep the weight off, change your lifestyle, don't go on any fancy diets, just change what you eat and change small things um, and just have a healthy lifestyle and make you healthy, don't do a healthy thing, if you get me. My last tip or last couple of tips is don't compare yourself and be patient. Everyone's journey is different, I think I've said that so many times in this video, but one person can lose weight really quickly and another person can lose weight really slowly. But at the end of the day, if you have a goal in your head and you're gradually getting there, it's better than not getting there at all. Everyone's journey is different and just be patient. Patience is so important. Don't compare yourself because the moment you compare yourself is the moment you feel like you're not doing well enough or you put yourself down. It's just rubbish. So don't compare yourself. Focus on you and you only and just know that this is your journey and no one else's. I got that video done and Noah hasn't woken up. I hope that was really helpful for you guys. If you want any more videos on similar topic, then do let me know. I've got loads of video ideas and I can't wait to do them for you guys. Follow me on Instagram, Daniela Christina Official. Follow me on Twitter, Danny underscore Christina, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't. Like this video and try not to hate. Bye guys.